just yesterday, I used our pressure tank to test a diesel oil cooler for leaks. And guess what? Today, I got a leak in a V8 Mercedes, and it's somewhere down in here. I tell you, it hasn't been easy. We ran the engine until it got hot, and it started to drip from underneath. And, of course, I came in here and put it up on the ramp so I could get underneath it. And we could see the drip, but couldn't find the exact location of the leak. So I said to Jerson, hey, let's get that pressure tank out now, build up some pressure in this cooling system, and let's just see how easy it is to find the leak in this 380 engine. Okay, we're gonna pump up pressure here. We've got the cap tight on the coolant reservoir tank, and we're gonna bring it up to about 12 PSI. Operating pressure on these systems is about 15 psi and we'll get up to 12 and then we'll go ahead and lock that handle in and see if we can find the leak i'm going to wander over here now and see if we're picking up a leak uh oh i hear coolant i see coolant so take a look at the gauge you can actually see the gauge dropping very slowly but it's down to kind of close to 11 and it'll slowly leak down but the thing you really want to find is the leak coming out of the engine it's bubbling up right out of the base of the thermostat housing and look up here at this hose there's just a light seepage you can't see it but looks like that hose clamp is not quite tight enough but the leak is definitely in the seal for the thermostat housing. So now we can go to work and really fix the problem. That only took a couple minutes to find and I spent a half hour yesterday trying to shove rags down in there and heating the engine up to pressurize it. But I tell you, this is an amazing tool to have. If you're a DIY mechanic that works on your own older Mercedes Benz, this here is one tool that you really must have. I know it sounds like I'm trying to sell something, but not only can you pressure bleed your brakes, and that will prevent wearing out your master cylinder, but you can also test the cooling system and test for leaks and other components. The unit that we sell looks like this. It comes with the cap for the brake fluid reservoir. And then as an addition, you can buy the special cap we make to hook onto your radiator or your coolant reservoir to build up pressure in your cooling system and you can move between both of course if you're using brake fluid in this you need to clean it out first you can clean it out with alcohol before you use it to do some type of a pressure test but like i say this tool here this pressure tank right here should be high on your list of things to have in your own shop this is a great example why you should have that pressure tank anytime you work on your cooling system, whether it be replacing a water pump, a hose, you want to test the pressure before you drive it down the road. I know we probably you don't want to admit it, but how many of us have left a hose clamp loose or something else not tight, causing loss of coolant when driving the car after doing some major work? If you pressure test it before you even start it up, your problem is solved.